Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And an awful lot at stake here, it's the second leg of this Conmebol Libertadores semi-final. It's Atletico Mineiro and they take on Sao Paulo. Well after that first leg you feel it may be a foregone conclusion. Hopefully the visitors can find an early goal, just put a little doubt amongst the crowd, create some tension, then build off of that. You do feel it's going to be an uphill battle, though. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, the graphic tells you everything about his current form. Second in the table in terms of league goals, and he looks so threatening at the moment. He'll look to add to those numbers once again today. They need to get tighter. It's there for him. There's still danger here. Chance maybe. Corner awarded. He's given us away. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Going well. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. <laughs> He's got space. Can he put it in? A goal! Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Quick ball almost all along the ground. Shot attempted and throwing himself at the ball. And the referee's 
whistle, the home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final if they play like that. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.